Look, I'm not gonna lie, I've had it up to here with these Brazilian grass cutters. Yeah, fucking whippersnippers. They just think they can go around sneaking everyone's chicks. It's gotta end, you know, and someone's gotta do it. So we created a movement called Reclaim Bondi. Brazilians think that they can come to our country and wear budgie smugglers like that with their amazing rigs. Us Australians know you can only wear a budgie smuggler once you've lost hope, once age and or alcohol has ravaged your body and you just don't give a fuck anymore. Mm. That's when you wear budgie smugglers. These fucking Brazilians and their good times, they don't complain about anything. They come over here offering all the local chicks a life full of culture and passion and sex, like hours of endless sex. Who's fucking got hours to sit around having sex? No one who's having a real solid crack at life. That's right. And Brazilians also cook outdoors. <laughs> and so now that's a part of our culture that we can no longer claim. Are you kidding me? And Brazilians also have a, a literal and abstract understanding of love that we Australians will never understand. And so they have familial ties far closer than our own. I mean, I hate my dad. Tell me this, how many times have you heard a Brazilian say, I, I hate my dad? Never. I've not heard one Brazilian say that. You know what else? Every time they do a poo, it makes a perfect bubble entry. <sighs> I mean, just think about that. Every single poo they do doesn't even make a splash. Their shit wipes their own asses on the way out. Those cunts go swipe. They might give a, a bit of a wipe just, just for the process of it. It's like, oh, I've done a poo. I know it's a bubble entry. I know I'm going to go swipe. <coughs> Porcelain on cloth. Zip. How can we compete with that? It's not possible. When they fart, what do they fart? A puff of musk and lavender. Their skin is way too good. Who has skin that good? Especially if you stand around in the sun all day playing fucking paddle ball and doing capoeira. Brazilians are actually all like the lady in the red dress in the Matrix. They're only here to serve as a distraction and to make us feel extremely self-conscious and bad about ourselves. They are like walking tabloid magazines. It's not okay. I mean, what Brazilian have you seen with varicose veins? What Brazilian have you seen with burst capillaries? Or an underbite? or eyes too close together, or a cleft lip, or a gammy right side, or a fucking chicken wing, or a kind of hoofed foot. Ironically, for a group of people who are so obsessed with happy, fun, good times, they're actually bringing down the tone of the world. They're so great that they make normal people want to kill themselves. I'm sure that if you did a study looking for a correlation between increased Brazilians traveling and increased people killing themselves, you'd be able to draw a line there. The world is a melancholy place, yet, Brazilians somehow remain happy. So, what do you think they might be hiding? I'll tell you what they're fucking hiding. The 2016 Olympics is all one big fucking grass cutting conspiracy. The Brazilian government are getting all the world's best athletes, all the best genetic material, the strongest seed, all to come into one place where they're all gonna get the Zika virus. And then when all those athletes go home, no one's gonna wanna fuck them. So the Brazilian grass cutters are gonna be able to go all around the world with free reign without a single challenge. That's what's gonna happen. Debris. I'll apologize if you got caught in the blast radius of that truth bomb and you took a bit of shrapnel. Too long have Brazilians cut our grass. Too long have our women yearned a better life, being in the clutch of their arms. It has to stop. You have to help us stop this epidemic. <laughs>